we interrupt our regularly scheduled programming for a Channel 3 special report. Good evening. I'm David Barrows. Jonathan Shaw is on assignment. We apologize for our earlier coverage of the so-called Madison race riots. Reports coming in now indicate the violence is neither racially motivated nor restricted to the greater Madison area. What is certain is that this seemingly unexplainable mass hysteria continues to spread throughout the heartland with injuries reported to be in the thousands. We now go live to Catherine Lanfear at St. Augustine Memorial Hospital. Catherine. David, the staff here says they haven't seen anything close to the sheer volume of casualties. Badly injured, very frightened people are pouring in, no exaggeration, by the hundreds. And we're told that most of the injuries are bites, not gunshot or stab wounds, as we were led to believe earlier. Just a few minutes ago, we spoke with one of the doctors that has been on call since this morning when the patients arrived. We have seen cases of complete digit finger extraction, deep throat laceration, even a large section of flesh torn away as if by a rabid dog or wild animal. We've been told by nurses there have been complications. Almost all wounds have shown immediate infection. Uh, many have went into toxic shock. Uh, one patient... Have there been fatalities? Uh, 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 excuse me, please. I'm sorry, I have to go. I was coming home from work, and I saw this woman in the road, and she was moaning or something, so I... I went out to go see. I thought she got hit by a car or some, something like that. And I went to go reach out to help her. And, and she bit me in the arm, scratched up my face, and I just took off. And Doctors are still at a loss as to the reason behind these attacks. And the situation doesn't seem to be improving. In the past few minutes, I've seen four ambulances and several cars pull up with victims seeking emergency care. Whatever's going on, it seems to be far from over. David. Thank you, Catherine. And speculation seems to surround the origin of this phenomenon. And theories include an airborne plague, a toxic chemical spill, bioterrorism, and even a spaceborne virus. And viewers should be advised that there is no official explanation as of yet. Teams from the Federal Emergency Management Agency, the Center for Disease Control, and Office of Emergency Preparedness have been dispatched to Chicago, Madison, and the Twin Cities. While martial law has not been declared, the governors of all three states are encouraging citizens to remain calm and stay at home for the present. We've had no official response from the White House, but it can be confirmed that the president is considering returning from his fishing trip at Jackson Hole. More on the situation as it develops. The president wants to make it perfectly clear that this is not a case of bioterrorism. No such agents exist in the arsenal of any nation or known terrorist group. He also wants to stress the need for calm and the respect for law and order. The quicker people can get off the streets and into their homes, the quicker the appropriate federal and state agencies can reach these troubled areas. Although a further call-up of reservists is on the table, our current overseas military assets will remain in place to reassure our allies that this is a minor, containable situation that we expect to see fully resolved in 24 hours or less. Again, that was Press Secretary William Kaplan with the first official statement from the White House a little over 30 minutes ago, stressing calm and what he assures us is a fully containable situation. I've just received word from my producers that a tape showing one of these random attacks has been dropped off at our studio. I'm being told that the tape contains graphic, material, and violence. And viewers should be advised. No, 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 there you go. Uh, you just walk up, come to her, on. walk up to her, come on, hit her on the head, knock her out, it's great if whatever, baby. <laughs> yes. Dude, look at those melons, man. Come on, are you Look at that. that. She is so She's hot. The She's girl. the hottest girl in school. There you go. You got there you go. It. Come on, man. Wow, Use man. some of those wrestling skills, it. baby. I got yeah, that's it. Yes. 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 Y
I'd like to apologize for the footage you just witnessed. I did not have the chance to previously view it, and I'm sure neither did my producers, or they would have never allowed material of such poor taste to be broadcast on this or any television show, especially a news report. The human mouth is full of millions, millions of germs, and most people don't practice good dental hygiene. So naturally, any bite is going to become infected, no matter from whom. These people don't have some sort of uh, voodoo hoodoo disease. Yes, but Dr. Collar, how do... Look, David, what you fail to realize is that most of these so-called experts are looking in the wrong direction. The problem is not chemical or biological, it's psychological. What we're witnessing here is the spontaneous combustion of a pent-up rage uh, fueled by frustration over um, a pressurized society. It's the snapped postal worker on a national level. Well, how can you explain that the... Look, in my new book, USA Bomb... Look, I'm sorry, we have to cut summer. away right now. I'm I just being informed that both Istanbul and New Delhi are reporting sporadic outbreaks of violence, similar to those here at home. And clearly, this is no longer an American... What? We're just getting a picture from our BBC correspondent. Over to Trevor Hanna in London. Trevor? We're in Notting Hill, a part of London. Who knows if this report will ever be transmitted. Uh, communication is at best limited. limited. The city, it seems, is being overrun with man-eating creatures. creatures. And... They're coming! Run! Shit. Run for Like most stations, we're experiencing technical problems with our satellite connection, but we'll try and follow the situation and bring you up-to-date information from the other side of the globe as it comes. We now have word on the situation in New York. All bridges and tunnels to Manhattan are being destroyed, and a barrier of Coast Guard craft is taking up position around the island. We don't know, however, if this is to keep people from getting in or getting out. We should have footage from New York shortly. State and local authorities are urging communities to form clean and sweep teams. We'll now go live to Monroeville, just outside of Pittsburgh, where one of these sweeps is currently underway. Danny, come on! Put another round of that woman over there. She's she's a twitcher. She's a twitcher. We get these twitchers. We shoot them. They go down. They keep moving. We can't tell if they're dead or not. Head, dead. And we sure got a lot of them today. But you know what the bad part of all this is? I know some of these people. I know I know some of these people that we're putting down. Now well, what are you gonna do? Has to be done. One of these guys. One of these guys was a real estate agent. Uh, he sold me my house. He was over there. I guess he's over there now. Anyway, that woman right there? I think I did her. I can't reach Philadelphia. The AP wire just right. uh, yeah. uh, we, uh, we have some startling information from Fran Parker, live at the Hammond County Medical Examiner's Office. Fran, what I'm about to show you is one of the most horrific. Stand back, and I told you, keep, please keep your distance. You can see how dangerous it is. No person has survived this disease. And I can assure you that every victim that has come into this hospital has turned out just like this. They have died on the table. Okay. What has happened, what has happened though, is that they have actually come back from the dead. So you're telling me this man has come back to life? I know it sounds absolutely impossible, but what we're talking about here is reanimation, but of dead matter. Look at this one that I was given an autopsy to. During the whole autopsy, he never stopped moving. And I took out his heart and half his digestive tract. Oh what I'm God. trying to tell you is, oh my God. the dead are walking. That's all I can say. Well, how are people supposed to protect themselves, doctor? This is the most contagious disease I've ever seen. What I would say, and I'm warning you, everybody, do not, do not come in contact with, with any of these, these zombies. 
And there you have it, David. The dead are alive, and there's no cure, and there's no explanation, and there's no nothing. Oh, my God! David, cut away! Cut away! Cut away! Cut away! Get away from him! Get away! Yes, in that the circulatory, respiratory, and other vital functions have terminated, these subjects are technically deceased. Please just let me get through this and then I'll take questions. The infection is spread through direct fluidic contact. It must enter through the bloodstream through an open wound. Infection duration depends on the size of the wound and its proximity to a major blood vessel. Reanimation will occur no later than one to five minutes after the victim's primary life functions have expired. Once reanimation has occurred, the subject will respond with immediate homicidal aggression. What? It's clearly uh, <coughs> it's a, it's clearly a shocking development unfolding. You're going to want to uh, you're going to want to keep it locked in here. You stay with us all night. LAPD has pulled out of South Central Los Angeles entirely and is trying to form a defensive perimeter around Beverly Hills. But I don't know how they're going to stop these things. If you're hearing me, stay away from Los Angeles. The city is out of control. The city is lost. Avoid Los Angeles at all costs. I'm sorry. We, we had to cut away. We need to go now live to the White House press room for an emergency military briefing. The state of emergency has been declared in the United States of America including all overseas dependencies and the Commonwealth of Puerto Rico. We face, we, uh, for reasons yet to be determined, the bodies of the recently deceased are returning to life and attacking the living. The scope of this ec epidemic is now reaching global proportions. The President has sent to Congress a package of initiatives which will be explained by the Secretary of Defense Mr. Martin Emery, Mr. Secretary. As of 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, the President has declared the continental United States under martial law. A nationwide curfew of 7 p.m. tonight has been put into effect, and any citizen caught outdoors between 7 p.m. and 7 a.m. is subject to arrest and detention without counsel. All reserve military personnel and National Guard are ordered to report for immediate deployment. All law enforcement, firefighting, and emergency personnel will be federalized effective immediately. All communications facilities, including the use of landline and cellular telephone facilities, will be reserved for military and rescue operations. In order to halt the spread of this contagion, our nation's borders to Canada and Mexico have been sealed. No longer seek shelter in private residences, no matter how safely protected or well stocked. Retain all ownership records of private property, but do not attempt to transport or defend said property. Rest assured, looters will be prosecuted with deadly force, as will any attempts at vigilanteism or secessionist political activity. No questions. Uh, that was the uh, Secretary of Defense with the, the announcement that the dead are somehow coming back to life. And uh, I, uh, I, uh, I got, uh, do we have those uh, rescue stations yet? Well, find them, please. I need, I need, uh, I need those rescue stations. But fine. You know what? Fine. I'll get them. I'll get them. Goddamn rescue stations, now! Current estimate 
in the U.S. puts the number of dead at over 10 million. But this is, many would consider, a wildly conservative estimate. Regarding the entire world, I, I can't even begin to give you a number. One bright spot to report, we, we now have a tape of what to do if you should find yourself assaulted by a reanimate. Can we roll that? Five, four, three, Kurt! He's up! One! He's up! Ladies and gentlemen, in the background, Brett will now demonstrate on an actual Romeo Lima Foxtrot both hard and soft points. Brett, go ahead. If you're going to shoot him, if you shoot him in the head, it'll slow him down, it'll bring him to his Stay knees, and he'll get right back up. You shoot him in the chest, that way. Watch it, Brett. That'll watch slow it. him down, but he'll still come back. There's only watch one it. place to deal with this monster. You shoot him in the head, right in the head, between the eyes. Watch That's it, how you get him. Watch it, Brett. Stay on him, guys. Stay on him. What we're going to be doing is working on a female zombie. A little bit different. If I anticipate this right, she's going to be coming out. Give me a female. Okay, watch very carefully. Hey! She's down, coming. I'm sorry, sweetheart. Watch, guys. Everybody clear? All right. Some of you males may find this somewhat disconcerting to have to uh, engage a female of the species. I did, it took a long time to get over it, but it's necessary. This is three, three, mind you, multiple suspects coming from opposing directions. This is not fun. This is scary, you'll all go through it. Stay with me, watch very carefully. Okay, Kurt, are you on? Yep, Red, you on? Ambulance Tom, ah. sir. Okay, stand by. Ah. Ladies and gentlemen, what you've just seen here is not pretty. I don't enjoy this. I don't think you will either, but it's a necessary, necessary evil, if you will. I don't know anything else to tell you about this. Lucas, are we on? We're on. Yeah, we're still on. It's been confirmed from several sources that the destruction of Shanghai and Hong Kong were the result of thermonuclear explosions. Whether set by the Chinese government, a rogue faction of the Chinese military, or the Russian government in their promise to aggressively defend their borders is still not and may never be known. Within the next hour, we will be transferring responsibilities to the emergency broadcast system. We believe, although this has not yet been confirmed, that the president and his cabinet have already left Washington, D.C. for an undisclosed, secure location. We now have an audio, some would say, final audio message to the American people. My fellow Americans, this republic faces a crisis like no other in its history. While the lights across this great land dim and the darkness of an uncertain future descends, let us not forget the words that led our country through another great challenge. We have nothing to fear but fear itself. We will endure. We will rebuild. We will drive away the night and warm our children in the dawn of a new day. God bless you all. And God bless the United States of America. Honey, I'm coming home. Get the kids ready now. I'll be there soon. <laughs> <laughs>